1949, Bob Gates graduated from high school in Des Moines and joined the Marine Corps with five of his friends. We didn't volunteer to go. We were assigned, but I, volu I volunteered when we went in. We went in as volunteers. Three of the young men went to Korea. They arrived in February of 1951 and were immediately sent to drive out enemy soldiers who had retaken territory south of the 38th parallel. By May, they were at an area called the Punch Bowl. Three of us went to Korea, but only two of us came back. My good buddy Ted Hatfield was killed at the Battle of Yangu on May 31st of 1951. We were in the same company. We were not in the same platoon, and we'd check on each other after we were in battles to make sure each of us were survived so we could let our families know, because our families knew each other too, because we went through school together. And uh, unfortunately, like I say, at the Battle of Yangu, which was one of the major battles in the Korean War in 1951 in May, he was killed in, in that battle, May 31st of 1951. And I went to the corpsman to find out what he died from. And the only thing he'd tell me was he died of a head wound. Maybe he didn't know either whether it was a rifle shot or whether it was a shrapnel or what, but he died from a head wound. It would be almost a year before Gates would come home and be able to tell his friend's mother what happened. He had to find a way to set the incident aside so he could survive in combat. You can't function in combat with, with something on your mind because it's utter chaos and you've got to have your mind on what you're doing. 